What's up guys? So today we're going to be doing a 3M reflective custom and I'm going to show you two different methods of doing so. First thing we're going to do is remove our laces. Next, we're going to prep our surface with some Angelus Preparer and Deglazer. Since we'll be applying paint to the shoe, we want to remove the previous finish in order to get the best durability. Alright, time to apply our design. One of the most important keys to this is having a stencil to paint the design in. This of course is optional in case you'd like to freehand, but using a stencil will give the best and quickest results. We'll be using some 115 stencils for this that you can pick up from the website in my description. To apply them, we're simply going to use some transfer tape that comes with your purchase, place it over the stencil, use our squeegee tool to smooth without the air bubbles and peel it from its backing. Once off, place it on the shoe and use a heat gun to get it to initially stick down. Begin peeling the tape away while you hold down any loose pieces from coming up. This part takes some patience, so be prepared to spend some time on it. Make sure you run a heat gun over it one more time while pressing it down with your fingers to really suction it in place and avoid any leakage. All right, let's get into the 3M paint. This paint is from one of my friends, Major Waves, and you can check the link in my description to pick up a bottle for yourself. They come in a variety of colors, so you can choose which 3M color you'd like. Along with the bottle, you'll receive a small packet of some of Major Wave's special 3M powder. This is going to really give you that reflective shine. If you leave the paint sitting for a while, you're going to want to add some of this powder to the paint and mix with a brush to get the best results. We're also going to give the bottle a shake once we've mixed everything in. Next, we're going to use the smallest size of the Angelus brush set and apply the paint to the stencil. To get the least amount of leakage possible, make sure you add thin coats to the inner portions of the shape instead of globbing paint on top. Add about four to five coats or until the paint starts to be fully pigmented before removing the stencil. Make sure you peel away the stencil slowly to avoid any ripping or peeling of the paint. Using tweezers helps give you the best results. We can test the reflectiveness by taking a picture with flash and seeing that it gives you an awesome 3M glitterish finish. For our next method, we're going to use some 3M reflective heat transfers. If you guys want to grab some pre-cut transfers, be sure to check out my website where we'll have a variety of designs to choose from. All you need to do here is grab some tweezers and weed the unwanted pieces from the design. This will also include include the pieces around the shapes in order to get only what we want on the shoe. I want to use each piece individually, so I'm just going to grab some scissors and cut the transfer in half. Next, you'll need a mini iron to get the transfers to stick to the shoe. I'd recommend using a heat setting of low or medium to avoid burning the plastic on top of the transfer. To get it to stick, we're simply going to apply it to where we want on the shoe and run the mini iron over it until we see the plastic peel away from the transfer. Be sure to run the iron over it for enough time to get the transfer to really stick in place. Be careful not to hold it down for too long as you could burn the transfer and the shoe. I'd push in circular motions repeatedly until you see that it's fully stuck in place. After peeling the plastic away, you can run a heat gun over it while pressing down with your fingers to smooth out any wrinkles. Another thing to note is that yes, these transfers will 100% work on fabric as well. Clothes, shoes, bags, anything. 